It was a lot of fritters. Welcome back, friends. Happy Monday. How you doing? I hope you're well. Um, yeah, so first thing, the uh, Conch Fritter 500. <laughs> one, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but it was one of those things that... <clears throat> it looked really good on paper. Um, but in hindsight, it was a lot of fritters to eat over the course of an afternoon. Now, the good news is it was a beautiful day. Uh, we were on the Atlantic coast of Florida. Um, Easter weekend, which, you know, probably wasn't the smartest play. It was very crowded. But the most a uh, positive thing that came out of all of this is that uh, we found a new restaurant, which uh, restaurant slash bar or bar slash restaurant. More of a uh, what I would think is kind of a local locals hang kind of off the main drag. So if you ever find yourself in Fort Lauderdale, seek out the uh, Parrot Lounge or the so-called world famous parrot lounge it was a great place a uh, little dive bar and uh and the best fritter uh, that we had the whole afternoon i think we were all in agreement there world famous parrot lounge definitely worth uh, a visit if you're in the area <clears throat> side loader cages uh have been around for a really long time and we used them traditionally on kids' bikes or very small adult bikes where the, the triangle was uh, so small that you couldn't really remove uh, a traditional bottle. And, you know, I'd often wondered why King Cage didn't have one uh, because they are the best bottle cages in the known world. But he does now. Um, this is not a new product. It's been out for a while, but it is new to me, and therefore I'm showing it to you. So this is the side loader cage. And the first thing you notice is that it's it's a cute, stubby little thing. I mean, so you know, this is a standard water bottle cage and and that's the side loader. So, side loader. So it's wider and shorter. But the thing that makes it unique is that there are th three positions uh, that you can mount it on. So it mounts on the side. So you've got holes here, two positions on the side, and then you've got two positions on this side. But then you've also got holes in the middle if you just want to mount it in the middle. Um, pretty ingenious. Like all of uh, Ron's cages, they are have a vice-like grip on your bottle. This one is made from titanium. It's the only option. And so it falls into the, uh, that expensive to buy but cheap to own uh, category. But uh, they work really well. And, you know, if you use like a half pack frame bag, it can sometimes be difficult to get that bottle out of the cage without, you know, you run into the bag before you clear the cage. So this allows you to crank it out the side. Not, you know, it's not one of those things that's gonna change your life, but it's really well made and it's, uh, you know, I think more importantly, uh, really well thought out. So those are on the site now. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check them out. Yeah, King Cage side loader cages. And I do have uh, the traditional cage in titanium now as well. So fancy. 
you know, I've looked at the analytics. I, you know, I had an issue. I've had an issue ongoing for the last, I don't know, month or so. And I've looked at the analytics of this channel, and it's the bulk of the viewers, the bulk of you viewers out there are 45 and older. So uh, maybe this will uh, help. And even if you're younger and you don't think you've got an issue, you may at some point. So get ahead of it now. So the issue I had was that the whole left side of my body felt tighter than the right. You know, for the last couple of years, I've been going through this routine every morning or most mornings where I stretch. It's not something that I ever felt like I needed to do before. Um, you know, the bulk of my activity was riding a bike, and that seemed to take care of most things. But then you start getting little nags, and, and things all of a sudden start feeling tight where they never did before. So I started going through this routine of stretching most mornings. And I noticed that the left side of my body just felt tighter than the right, and I couldn't really understand it. And then I got a little grab in my side that felt like the back, but it wasn't really my back, and I didn't really know what that was, and I was trying to work around that. And then I got a strain in my left calf, and I just could not figure out what was going on. So I went back to my uh, chiropractor slash physical therapist and uh, what it was was my piriformis. Now if somebody had asked me, you know you got a muscle called the piriformis, I would have said, oh yeah, of course. Do you know where it is? Well, kind of. So he got in there and dug around like he does. Um, you know, active release type of situation. And then he showed me how to roll it on the foam roller. And the pain was so immediate and localized and intense that uh, I spoke in tongues and I may have seen Buddha. I mean, it was insane. But like those things, you know, you, uh, the more you do them, the more that muscle kind of releases and it doesn't hurt quite as much. But when I got up from using that foam roller, I could move again. I mean, it seems like a pretty, I mean, it's a muscle that's kind of in there in a bundle of muscles in your buttocks, the side of your buttocks. And you wouldn't think that something like that could cause that kind of issue and yet it did so my helpful tip for you today is if you don't have a foam roller get yourself a foam roller and then start watching some YouTube videos and kind of playing around and finding some of those uh, you know spots that are tightened up that you didn't know were tightened up and uh, I don't know it's made my life a lot better my whole goal is to stay mobile as long as possible. And I think, you know, obviously stretching and rolling and things like that are the key, obviously, other than continuing to move. So hopefully that helps. Foam roller, man, it's like, God. I can't even say it hurts so good. It hurts, it, it feels good when you stop. How's that? Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope something good happens to you today. Until next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon.